They're off in the Breeders' Cup Mile. Welcome to the 2021 Breeders' Cup Pre-Entries Preview Show. I'm your host, Curtis Calloward, a.k.a. Magic. And joining me now to preview the pre-entries for the Breeders' Cup Mile is one half of the racing dudes, Jared Welsh. And Jared, based on the pre-entries for this race, is this the single most difficult event of the entire weekend? Yeah, I really appreciate you giving me this one because this <laughs> was easily probably the toughest one to to go dive into. Yeah, I mean, it is because you, you don't even have a standout, really, you know, whether it be international uh, or certainly the American side. You have good horses, don't get me wrong. Like, it's a great race. It's going to be a fantastic uh, one to bet and watch. But in terms of, like, really coming up with an answer as far as who's going to win, you know, in previous years, like, obviously, like, Gold Covas, we, we've had those, and, you know, Unis and 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 things of that, that you know with even uni versus got stormy that you know that one year like you had uh horses that you could stand on here i mean chad brown's got several we got internationals mo forza comes into this race being really really good but you still kind of have your questions uh on turn in terms of who's the standout so to me when you look at this race you have to just take an opinion and just drive it home and, and hope you're right well, and speaking of that, last year at Keeneland, there was somehow an incredibly huge upset. All through the top three, Jared, they were Aiden O'Brien trained horses. I yeah. don't understand how that happens in a turf race in the World Championships. But if there's a similar bomb to that this year, uh, at least on top, based on the pre-entries, is there anyone who caught your attention? Yeah, that's what's amazing about that is, you know, Aiden O'Brien historically, kind of oddly enough, has not been great at the Breeders' Cup, and then he goes one, two, three in that race. And so it's like that made that race just balloon. Uh, you know, really, you know, you look at Space Blues. I know this isn't the answer to your question, but Space Blues, who came in, who's coming in for Charles Appleby. How about the horse that finished second to this horse last time out, Pearls Galore? You know, you got to think stretching out, obviously has the back class, then stretching out, going a little bit longer is more likely, you know, to like, I think the distance uh, increase for her is going to be, a little more to her liking, maybe has enough to turn the upset over uh, uh, Space Blues there. Again, I mean, you're going to have to wait, you know, jockey assignments, especially for the internationals, we don't know quite yet. And so that's going to make a big uh, factor in terms of how I'm going to play, you know, which horses I'm looking at, because, you know, which horse Detori gets on or which horse Ryan Moore's on or whatever. You got to kind of have to have an idea. OK, that gives you an indication of who they like. But yeah, Pearls Galore for me right now uh, is someone I'm looking at very strongly in terms of upset. You definitely have to balance the Europeans with the Americans in this race. A great blend. And of course, look at the pre-entries. An incredible field we're going to see lined up. Uh, thanks so much for joining us for this edition of the 2021 Breeders' Cup Pre-Entries Preview Show. For in-depth previews covering all 14 Breeders' Cup World Championship races, visit RacingDudes.com. Before you leave, smash the thumbs up on this video, hit subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss anything we do in the future.